Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning back to the channel. Here we have another uh, firearm that clinker, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I was excited to get my hands on this particular model and uh, find out how it is. So let's first uh, take a look at how this functions or what it comes with and then we'll go to the range and take a couple of shots with it and see what our first impressions are. Alright, so here we go. This is none other than Beretta EM922. There we go. What all comes with? Yes. It comes in a plastic bag. All right, so it comes definitely within a box in a plastic bag. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan when I see these things coming in a plastic bag, but it is what it is. That's how it came. So, I think pretty much Beretta does that to all their firearms. Uh, so, there you go. That is the firearm. Alright, so let's take a look at what else it comes with. Comes with a friend replaceable post front post is an extra that comes with it all right and then let's see what else comes with a lock beretta magazine or sorry beretta handbook my mistake come on it happens <laughs> all right then Another Beretta warranty card. Right, this is made in uh, USA. That's one thing I like about it. And oh, this is a warning we provided in accordance with Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So, okay, thank you. And uh, Umarex quality system does a sticker but that's basically all what it comes with and comes with one magazine so in my state it's limited capacity magazine not a standard capacity and then the firearm itself so here we go and this is a decocker it's a hammer fire pistol so you can if you have a round in the chamber this is empty clear uh, you can basically like okay decock it and bring it back to fire so this is decocked and safe so it won't fire like you can pull the trigger as much as they want it won't fire even if the hammer is caught and even though it is double action it will not fire okay so if it is safe it will fire because it is a double action pistol see so keep on firing but your double action trigger is super heavy uh, there we go super heavy that is one thing I am not a huge fan of such a heavy trigger and it's double action but it's it's a it's a safety reason right like you have a double action trigger it's usually heavy unlike one of my other firearms double action not as heavy as this but that's that's okay I haven't done a video on that I will be doing a video on that later all right and then uh, to take it apart it's pretty simple so even though if it's cocked I believe it does come apart so you press this button and over here slide this 
we can see and it will come apart it's pretty simple and I like Beretta on how they come apart even my previous Beretta the one I did the video on on Manimum it's easy to take apart so that's I love Beretta for that one part compared to uh, the Glock styles it's very easy to take apart and then to put it back together slide it in and lock it back there you go and uh, the magazine has I like this it's easy to load but this is 22 LR it's not hard to push it down either but I've seen a lot of people say they like it do I like it it's okay I mean I don't think I used it when I was loading but uh, if you want to yeah it, it is there uh, so that's I did not I was not able to find another magazine that works with this other than the Beretta magazine or even other Beretta magazines so so this is basically what comes with the box and the Beretta sticker I do I have to take it off I don't know I probably leave it there so there you go so now let's take it uh, so now let's take it to the range and fire some rounds and see how it functions it is time to try firing this thing first rounds the chamber flag is there obviously the magazine is loaded because I'm going to shoot it it's 15 rounds taking the chamber flag off I have no done nothing to this firearm so far got it out of the box not even removing the uh, the Beretta strap uh, the strap the sticker not even removing that just gonna take it right out of the box run some really cheap ammo first and see how this runs all right here we go So that is a misfeed, failure to feed. Right. Took that out. Another failure to feed. It could be my ammo. I'm not saying it is a gun. I'll try different ammo. Yeah, it is. Yeah, first rounds are having some trouble with it. Uh, let me remove the magazine. Empty. I got one, two, three, four more rounds. Failure to feed. I don't know if it is a magazine, too. It is a. Beretta magazine. So that is one chambered in. No, God. Three more here. The other one, failure to feed. So I don't know if you can see, it gets stuck like this. It could be the magazine or how it's feeding. I'm actually going to change the rounds and try with uh, different uh, different uh, ammo. I'm going to try this. This is Aguila 22 Super Extra Hollow Point. Let's see how this one feeds. It usually feeds better uh, on my other uh, 22 LR rifles. Let's see how it is on this. All right, so here um, I have changed to a gorilla uh, rounds. Let's see how this goes. It did not go off. All right, so it did not eject. So this time I got a failure to eject. Failure to feed.
fight. Running much better. I believe this could be uh, the break-in period. As you know, my previous firearms that I've reviewed, I never had any problem, especially the one that I'm carrying, which is from Palmetto, and every, every other firearm. I tried to take it out of the box as it is. Yes. No. I know there are... Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, I have some kids around behind me. So, yeah. Uh, I don't have any issues with uh, taking it out of the box and firing, but this one has given me... Probably it needs to break in. Break in period is a thing. So let's try running more rounds through it and see how it goes. More of the same round. I have one in the chamber and this one has 14. So let's try it. Safety off. Looks like, okay, let's try. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, so I'm getting the first one. Always failure to eject. That did not eject. All right. This also I'm having trouble because I feel it's a double action trigger. It's not single action. See? So it did not, it did failure to feed. All right. I just uh, rode the slide just. I felt like I was riding uh, slow. Not bad. Failure to eject, I guess. Yep. Failure to eject. Uh, this one ejected properly, but didn't feed. rounds at the least I believe five of them gave me issues let me try uh, loading just ten into this and see how that works take four so now again only have ten rounds loaded because 15 rounds was giving me more trouble let me see how it round, runs with ten I'm gonna use the slide release all right it went into battery let's see Failure to load. It ejected, but it did not load around. All right, let's see. This is good. 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 Ah, ran much better with 10 rounds. So I have a feeling 15 round I cannot load 15 round even though this came with 15 round magazine. It did not fire first five or six rounds properly. So here you go. It's a, it's a good feeling gun. It feels good. It's a Beretta made, made here in the United States in uh, Maryland, Hacko Kick. But it can do a little better job I believe. Uh, probably it is because it's 22 LR. They're not the cleanest round shooting. Everybody knows. So I'm more looking into like a planking gun, which is what this is. So thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Continue to stay tuned in the channel. More videos like this about this firearm as well as others are coming up. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye.